Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I wanna go over a multiple page brand style guide in Figma, how you can create it, and a couple of different things to uh, discuss. So this is the multiple page brand style guide here, and you can see it's pretty simple. It's got a cover slide, and then it has the logo over here, and then it's got the typography, so there's two fonts, and then it's got brand colors. So those are here with the hex codes and then the accent colors and then some examples of how the colors and uh, typography and different things should be used. So here's the company website, some social media images and some merchandise. So this is a brand style guide that we created for a client and I've done other brand style guide videos here on YouTube, but I wanted to show uh, how you can create this uh, multiple page brand style guide in case you need something a little more complex. So I'm going to go ahead and preview these uh, pages here just so you can see it more in a slideshow. So you have your title, uh, then you have your uh, logo. So it's really basic. I mean, it's a uh, title with some text and then the logo itself. And then we have uh, fonts. So this font is Helvetica. This font is Cabin Sketch with some descriptions on how to use that font, brand colors, etc. So the reason I wanted to show a few of those is because you have the opportunity and the ability here to explain um, how these things should be used. And that's the whole purpose of the brand style guide is to keep the brand consistent. So you talk about in each of these sections um, how and, and where and why this should be used. So this one is the symbol of the logo, this one is the symbol and the name, and then this is the full logo here. And then again, there's different fonts and everything. So let me point out a couple of elements here in this brand style guide. Um, you have your cover slides, which are all pretty simple, um, but the layout is just this uh, simple uh, text and then image over here, but I use this box element quite a bit, the outline. Um, I use it on all the different sections. So even here, it's outlining our different hex colors and it's um, used in these logos. It's used in the fonts, even though you can't see it very well. There's a black outline there, a uh, border on those, on those fonts. And then even the social media images, each of these images has the black border around uh, the image. And same with the merchandise. So this is just a really clean, professional looking brand style guide. You can export this as a PDF if you just go over here and you do file, export frames to PDF, it'll pull up. And I can pull this up as a PDF document and I can send this to my client and then they can use this uh, to make sure that their brand stays consistent. So, and this looks great. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So uh, in this file here, I've got my brand style guide with components, and then I have my brand style guide without components. So what that means is the these components are what drive the actual uh, brand style guide. So I have components for some of the most important elements like the logos here, and these are all labeled by sections in Figma, the text elements, so the main slide text, the typography and title text, section title, cover. This is the footer text here that you see right here that says cover or on the actual brand style guide. It switches based on the section like the logo, cover, typography, etc. But these components here make up the different slides and then I have a brand style guide with the components here so you can kind of uh, see what it would look like if you're using the components or if you don't want to use the components, you don't have to. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let me create a new page. So if you use the components, then it's going to allow you to work faster. So I'm going to go to my assets here. And then now you see all these components enabled uh, as part of the uh, it's part of the canvas or as part of the elements that I can use for my canvas. So I have my logos, I have my color palettes, I have my mock-ups, I have my 
uh, shapes. So these were those different shapes I was talking about. I have my slides. So these are full slides. And then I have text elements. So cover text, typography. So to build one of these, I could just go drag this component in, title slide, then here's a section title. And so within a few seconds, I can build out my, my slide here, my uh, style guide. So I would just do this, then I have my main slide layout here. So it'd be here. And then I just do that a couple times. And then I'd have start building out my brand style guide. If I have three logos, maybe I'll do three there. Um, when I get to the brand colors, I'll use these slides here for the color palette and the accent colors. Those actually should be switched. And the way that Figma works is it goes left to right, so and top to down, top to bottom. So you have the title slide, then it's going to go this way, then left, then down, then left. So, and then for my examples down here, and I can get these all spaced evenly. You know, here's my mock-up example. Maybe I want to use my social media example here. So I'm just building out the. Uh, brand style guide super fast here and I'd have my typography here and if I have two fonts I just duplicate this because it's the same slide so within a matter of a few minutes I'm able to build out my entire brand style guide and then all I have to change is I can either detach these components detach this instance from the components and then change it here or I can go into the components themselves and change it. So for example, if I wanted to do that, maybe on my main title slide, I actually want this color to be, let's change it here to a green. So now these section title slides and main title slides are green and my new style guide is green. So that's why you might want to use a component. You can edit all the elements at once. I don't really love this color, so I'm going to change it to maybe this lighter red, whatever your brand color is. And then um, you can do this with other components here as well. So like here I have the uh, slide accent color, this Helvetica font, this background behind it, I have the slide accent color there. So if I change this, then it's going to change that accent color and you can see that changing in real time back there over here now so this is going to give you a preview of what the slides look like for the different components but if we actually go to the brand style guide with components you can see this updated for us so now these are all red uh, these are both that blue color um, but my brand style guide without components is not affected because it's not using uh, the components that uh, are in the, this component section. So I wanted to create both, so you have both options here. And so I'm gonna make a, a file that's similar to this that you can use for your own um, brand style guide. If you wanna download this, uh, this Figma file, then you can go in and you'll have all access to these components, these slides, and uh, you also have access to the style guide without components. So just wanted to show this. I think it looks really professional. You can always add or remove sections as you need them. So I have the logo, typography, brand colors, and examples. Maybe there's other things you want to include in your brand style guide. You totally can do that. You just keep the template going. Or if you wanted to create more components, your, your own slide components or different components here, you can obviously do that as well. And these are just sections, and then I've created components and put them into sections so that when you go to assets, you can see, uh, for example, here's all the text elements. So you could also drag and drop a component in this way and build your slide that way. Um, one kind of cool thing I wanted to point out is this cover, I'll go to the brand style guide without components. So this uh, text element is actually a frame. So if you create a text element and then hit Shift A, 
that'll create a frame. And I've added this padding to it, 40 pixels on vertical and horizontal padding. So it actually, you can, it bumps right here to the bottom. So let me show you what I mean. If I were to move this to the right, that padding stays intact. So it doesn't go all the way over to the right. So to get it down there in the left corner, you just put left and down and it will go in that bottom left corner. I think that's really cool. Gives you that padding there automatically. Um, and then these other things are pretty simple. These are just a, a frame again. So these two text elements and then shift A and then adding in a couple of, of things here. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'm excited to use this brand style guide for uh, future clients. Like I said, I've already created this for one client um, and I'm excited to, to do it for some others. I do have the uh, brand a brand style guide, another example of one that I've created here. So you can see what it might look like. So here's another one that's just a, this is just a, a, a fake brand that I'm, I, I created. But you can see what it looks like with different color palettes and text and I haven't updated this all the way. You can see these slides still aren't updated. But the, so that's the old one. This is the new one. And so it looks really nice. This one, they don't have as many logo options. They only have one text option. So, uh, and again, this is just a fake brand and the color palettes and which one's the, the primary accent color. I need to update a few things. So I've got the purple as the primary accent color here and then create some examples. So I was close to getting this one finished. Um, and so I just want to show you a different take on the uh, brand, brand guidelines and and how you could, could create this for any brand that you work with. All right, well, I hope that helps. And like I said, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can download this file for free and um, then you can start using it. So that's what I have for today and I will see you in the next video.